one, go. Three, one, one, two, right? Left, left, right for most of us. Left, left, right. Left, left, right, yeah. Left, left, right. Good, left, left, right, good. All right, come on. Let's take it. Let's get a big circle right now. We're going to work on just some basic like sit ups and grapple and stuff. Again, coordination stuff. Getting this group. Let's take a big circle. We need some space to do this. Okay, so we're going to work on kind of just some basic movement on the ground. Again, we're getting, move, uh, getting warm and getting moving. So we're going to be down in a quadruped position, right? Hands and knees. We're going to work on a sit out. And again, just getting our hand, our hips open up and we're getting used to posting a little bit for grappling. So, one hand's going to raise, let's say in this example, my left hand's going to come off the mat, right? I'm going to come up, my right leg is going to kick through, okay? Now I'm going to bring my hips to the mat, I'm going to come back, bring it under, back to center, and then I'm going to bring my hand down. Other hand comes up, right hand comes up, left leg comes through, back, center, right? I'm going to be able to do this, side to side, all right? We're going to start very slow, so let's do it all together. So. We're going to be down in this quadruped position on our hands and our knees. I want you to bring your knees up off the mat slightly. We're going to remove our left hand from the mat, bring our right leg, kick it through. Let's sit to our hip all the way down. Let's go to the mat all the way down. Yep, kick through. Good. Yeah, keep going. That's it, good girl. All right, now from here, we're going to bridge up, right, using that one foot that's on the mat and that one hand up, back under. Yes, good, switch hands. Okay, left hand comes down, right hand comes up, left leg kicks through, and we come down to the ground. Good, up, and under. Okay, here we go, we're gonna do that side to side. Ready? Other left hand comes up, right leg through, back. Other side, right hand up, left leg through, back. Okay, ready? Now I'm gonna cue it out. We switch, side, center, side, yep. Center, good, side, center, that's it, side, center, all right, and we're going to do this for a minute, we're going to work on shifting side to side, you can go as slow or as fast as you like, all right, let's pause for a second, right, so we're here, right, we can go kind of slow tempo, we feel good, we can begin to pick it up, and again, we're just transitioning side to side, good old wrestling drill, here we go, three, two, one, Go for it. Yeah. Okay. You can work on the technique a little bit. You can speed it up and get a little more cardiovascular endurance right now. Two. Okay. The bottom leg comes up there. Back. Up. So bring your other leg through. Oh. This way. Other leg. Good job, guys. 30 seconds. Keep going. Open those hips, kicking that leg through, dropping the hip, bring it back up, bring it back to the other side. Yep. We have about 20 seconds. We want to pick up that tempo. We're 25. Here we go. Keep going, guys. Keep moving. Almost there. Good. Five, four, three, two, one at a time. Good job. Okay, we're back up. We're back on our feet, right? Back up your hands. That was great, guys. Right? And again, you see, it's very hard to kind of do some of these motions. It takes a lot of endurance. That was just a minute. Uh, but it's important to be able to accelerate and decelerate our mass. That's all we've done here today so far is accelerated or stopped our body mass, okay? So all we're going to look to do, guys, is now is, is now just punch in place. Ones and twos. I want your hands and feet to go together. Ones and twos right here, punching in the air. Three, two, one, let's go. Hands and feet moving. Yep, step, step. Think no different than the line drills we were just doing. I just need your hands and feet moving. Your hands are returning to our face. Think, yeah, that's it, James. Bring your hands back in nice and tight. Nice and tight, you can stay on the face. You guys are welcome to move a little bit, just be conscious of your neighbor, right? We don't need to be too stagnant. Keep going. Again, just punch, punch, punch. Moving our hands, moving our feet. Moving our hands, moving our feet. Moving our hands, moving our feet. That's all we're looking to do right now, guys, is we're warming up. We're getting our coordination tuned up, getting everything working together. This is all important. These are functional drills. So I a little bit of conditioning. You probably feel your shoulders begin to burn. I know mine do, that's good. Right, moving those feet, keep 
punch, 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 step, punch, step, punch, step. Then go together, then go together. Keep going, guys. We're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good job. All right, guys. We're going to be back down on the mat. We're going to work on a basic hip uh, escape position. So, everyone, lay fine. All right. Now. All we're going to look to do, guys, is working on a safe stand-up. Now, not too dissimilar to what we just did. We're going to, we'll, we'll, we'll do this all kind of bit by bit. So we're going to lay on our back, and we're all going to do this together. We're going to stand up, sit up. Good. Take your right hand, post it behind you. Take your left foot, bring it towards your butt. Okay, now from this point, we're going to bridge our hips not too dissimilar from the sit-out position we just did. As I do that, I bring my right knee to the ground and my left hand extends outward, right, in this position. Okay, now from here, I'm gonna work on keeping my arm out and I'm gonna stand up to my feet. Good job, all right. That's, that's what's called a safe stand. We're gonna get back down, we're gonna do it again. Actually, we're gonna do it with a partner now, uh, James, no Sorry, not James, Jamal. Okay. So what Jamal's going to do is he's going to give me a little bit of resistance into my hand, right? And this is going to make this drill kind of real. So at this point, I'm going to push on his chest, right? He's giving me some of his weight, right? Not all of it, but some of it. I'm up on my hand. Now I have to bridge off this foot. And again, he's still giving me some weight. He's still giving me some weight. He's pushing me a little bit. That weight is actually going to help me get up here, right? He's giving me some of his mass, right? Yeah, some of his weight here. That's actually going to help me get up, right? It's pushing me back in a way as long as his arm is straight. This arm has to be straight. It is not bent, okay? So what we're gonna do, we'll partner off. And again, one more time, we have a partner, and there's gonna be about this much space. They don't even have to be too close to us. You want space to sit up into them, so actually sit up just a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna sit up and almost be able to touch him. Now from this point, this is kind of where I wanna be. He's gonna begin leaning into me a little bit more, right? And I have my hand here, my opposing leg is on the floor, right? Now we are looking at a contralateral post, Right, my leg comes under, he's still giving me weight, right, this helps me get up. All right, let's partner off, find somebody around your size, skill level, etc. You're gonna have to guys, we have partner A, partner B. Oh, here we go, we have partner A, partner B. Partner A is down on the ground. Partner B is up. Partner A is gonna do this for about 90 seconds, and we'll switch, okay? So it's just we're repping, you want to be getting up yeah. over and over and over. All right. So again, partner B, your job is just to stand in front of them, right? Stand in front of them and then allowing them to come up. Yeah, hand under. Yep, somewhere by. And I start to give him weight at this point, right? I need to be a good partner, right? And then he's going to go through the rest of the motion up. Yep, up. I still give him weight. He comes all the way up. That's it. And we're going to go back down and do it again. All right, partner A, here we go. It is your time to shine. Three, two, one. Let's do it, guys. Let me know if you have some questions. So, so there, you. right? Both leg under. So, so you need you to come bring that leg underneath. And then, yeah. this is where push it gets. Yeah, it brings go down to the knee, down to the knee, down to the knee. Down push down 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 just down push it. And then yeah. Like what we did before. Uh, just, yeah, yeah. you need to have me in a pretty strong position. Right, right. right. You're a top of your toes up here. That's how you're talking. This is okay. strong, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four points of contact with the ground, right? That's going to be much stronger. Let's do it again. Yes. Keep going, guys. Yeah. I'm sorry, I totally nope. forgot. No this. problem. <laughs> okay, so you, you actually were doing it right. You sit up, your hand gets to his chest. Okay, now, yep, lift, yep, lift. to the knee, yep, and, and then, then keep going up. Up, 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 good. Up. Right now, what I want you to do is give her a little more weight, yeah, so okay. she can feel it. So we go up, yep, pose. Yep. Like yep, 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 that's it. Thank you. No problem, that was great. Let's see it. About another 30 seconds here, guys. Nice job, James.
All right, let's switch. Other partner. Now, B, the B partner is turning. Right, and again, ask me questions. We're just repping it. Okay. Here we go. We're going to go about five seconds. Again, partner A, be a good partner. Learn from your time in repping. Three, two, one, let's go. How do I do it? Oh, you should. Yeah. 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 Wait, so I got to go, like, one of these got to, like, your arms. Doesn't matter. And I got to go back. My knees uh, aren't the best. One hand pushes on me, so just leave. The other hand supports you. Three, two, three. Yeah. I know. What's up? You got those two Okay. I don't have a chest, but you can like go here, it's fine, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, go to the knee. Go to the, I want the knee on the ground. What do you mean, like that? Yeah, that. That knee. No, no, yeah, that, 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 Right, yeah, you see, I'm, I'm giving you a good amount of force, right? A good amount of weight in your profile. Right? Good job, right? About 30 seconds. Yeah. Yes. Good job. That was it. Right? Don't be scared. Put that knee down. This is okay with this to be in, right? You don't have to jump in this position. This is strong. That was good. Yeah, you're going to be strong with that knee down. Right? You'll be strong with that knee down. Just got about 15 seconds more. Right, don't be scared, right? You don't have to jump to that top position. It's step by step. With so much weight, you can't jump to that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, good job. All right, and time. Good job. Excellent. Okay, so we're starting to get our hands and feet coordinated. We're starting to move our hips a little bit. And we just worked on getting up out of a bad scenario, right? With some kind of safe stand-up, right? And one of the more difficult positions to be in is actually when somebody is standing over you, okay? Right, so that's always an easy, easy thing, uh, right, is to think or to avoid is like, you don't work on that bad case scenario. So we're just gonna do one more thing from that bad position, then we'll bring it back up and we'll do some stri more striking drills. Uh, Jamal, can I borrow you? Can. Okay, so the number one thing is we need to think about Right, is this, this space, right? And yes, if he's close and I can get my hand on him, this will help me get up, but at the same time, his hands can be on me, right? So I might need to create a little more space. And whether I'm touching him or not in the safe, safe stand-up scenario, right, as I use that technique, it doesn't matter either way. I'm kind of coming up still to a pretty good kind of stance that I can uh, protect myself from. So. Again, we always want to pretend that or think that the fight's going to go well go in our, our favor, but sometimes it doesn't, right? So this is not a good position to be in, obviously, right? So what tools do we have in this scenario? He has gravity. He has his body mass. I don't really have the ground to drive off of. Not really, but I do, right? And so one thing we're going to think about doing is an up kick. And we're going to be careful as we do this with our partner. We're not just working on extending our leg. Right, this is great, but it's limited. I'm actually going to work on bridging, right, and be able to kick my leg up, right? That's going to give me the most amount of range, right? So in some type of scenario, and again, right, we're all friends here, we're training partners, so on and so on. So the drill is actually going to go off the hip, okay? If you really feel comfortable with your partner, you can bring it up to the chest or shoulder, but I recommend probably keeping down here because we don't have a mouthpiece in today. Okay, so now what's gonna happen is all we're gonna work on doing right now, we'll do this by ourselves at first and then we'll partner off, is just work on extending the leg and extending the other leg from the ground, okay? How this would play out in reality is as Jamal comes forward, right, it's gonna allow me to kick him off me, right? And if I need more space, more range, let's say he's coming forward, maybe his hips are back and I can't get to him, right, but he's in the, yeah, this scenario, right now I can kind of kick him in the face. Right now, if I can create some space, maybe strike him, right now I can work on getting myself back up. Right, and again, and we want to be a superhero and go do good things. Sometimes you're put in a bad spot. So again, the drill being, just work on both sides. You don't necessarily need a partner at first, right, to do this. Back up just a little bit, thank you. Right, we're just going to work on kicking, and we're going to do this for time. Right, notice I drive my hip up, I extend the other leg. 
Right? If I really want to, I can come up through this toe. It's going to give me more extension. I can also extend this other toe. Hitting with the ball, my foot, I can hit with my heel as well as a personal preference. All right, and all we're going to do is do this for time. Up, up, up for a minute. It's actually going to give you pretty challenging. Then we can switch legs to the other side. Then we'll partner off, okay? And the partner position, right, is you're going to start on their hip bone here, okay? They're going to start to give you some weight. You're going to push them back and then work on that safe stand, okay? So let's lay down. We don't need a partner for this first part. All right, all we're going to do is kick our leg up and bridge our hip off the mat. Okay, we're going to do that for time. Here we go. Remember, that leg up top extends and the leg on the bottom drives into the floor. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. That's one leg up and down. Yeah. You have extending one leg, extending the hip up and down. You can your butt can touch the mat, come back off, touch, back off. Right, this is going to get hard. We're going to do this for a minute. Right? Again, we're working on all sorts of like, coordination, some strength right now. Right, we're working on technical movement. Oh, good job. Kick, drive. Yeah, it's getting hard. I know. Extend. Kick that leg up like you might depend on it. One day it just might, hopefully not. Right, but kick, kick that leg up. Right, one leg, one leg only, keep going about 20 seconds. Right, I know that leg probably on the ground is the one that's getting most tired. Right, surprisingly. Keep going, keep going, 10 seconds. Yeah, keep moving. Yeah, yeah, we're starting to burn out. Good job, five, four, three, two, one in time. Good. I'll give you guys about 10 second rest. We're going to switch to the other leg. That's surprisingly hard, right? But no one's even trying to beat you up. For three, two, one. Let's do another leg. Kick. A leg kicks. There we go. Yeah. Right. Good, good, good. Drive. Right. We're using a lot of our big muscles in our legs. Right. Our glute. Right. Our quad, hamstring, hip flexor. All these are really important. Yeah. And again, we're kicking, driving away. Right, creating space between us and potentially somebody standing over us. Good job, we got about 30 seconds. Drive up, kick away, drive up, kick away. Good, keep moving. Up, 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 drive. Right, the one leg kicks, one leg drives into the ground. 20 seconds, keep moving. I know this is getting hard. Right. Almost to the fun part, 15. No pain, no gain. Good, keep driving, James, drive that left leg into the ground, lift that hip, good job. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good job, okay, let's get back with our partner. We have A partner, B partner. A partner is down on the mat, B partner is standing over them. Remember, A partner, you're finding the hip. You are finding the hip bone, right? You can turn your foot out. Right, externally rotate your femur, right, turning your toes outward, it will help you find your foot, have a nice little home right on someone's like a hip bone, uh, to be right on like an iliac crest, or, um, excuse me, their hip flexor, right in that kind of channel. All right, that will make it a little more comfortable, you won't slide. All right, all we're gonna look to do is kick, and then go into that safe stand up, right? So again, one more time, we're with our partner, right, we give them a little kick, and then we go through that safe stand up. All right, let's do it. I'll give you about 90 seconds, guys, and we'll switch it up. Three, two, one, let's go. Right, yeah, kick. And then go through the safe stand up scenario that we just did, right? Kick, yeah, under, yeah, up, there it is, good. Other hand down. What's that? No, you just, you just kind of stand there, right? Yeah, give her a little bit of weight so that she can give your partner Partner B, make sure you give a little bit of weight. A nice stunt. Yep, yep. And now we go into the safe stand up <gasps> scenario. Oh, wait. Yeah. Wait. So, right, we're here, right? Here. And then we start to come up. Yeah, we're going to take that leg off the hip, right? That's a strike. Yeah, up and up. Yeah, exactly, right? Oh, it's going to so many pieces. See, so everybody's coming so together. <laughs> All oh, these pieces are coming together. Oh. Right again, we're, part, we're building here, yeah, guys. So, right? Yeah. So I go from here. So I recommend while using that leg, you do a transition with use your right leg, right? Because the leg 
the time right now. Of course, we can do that with your right leg. Taking what we just learned, applying it to what we just we learned 10, 20 minutes ago. Good one, two, yeah, exactly. Oh, good. 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 Right, so you kick with the right leg, the right leg comes under. Mm -hmm. Good. Good, yep, under, under, under the right leg. So right there, so here, this. Right, right, right. So now it's getting confusing because we're combining things, but let's kick. Right, so we're here, ready to kick his hips. Good. Under. Okay, and then push off again. Yeah, All right. oh, that would come up. All right, I'm trying. Good. You got no. Don't apologize. You, he's being a good partner. Thank you. Yeah. Good job, guys. Time. All right. Good. All right. So, why? Well, for this next drill, why don't we have you two ladies work together, and then I'll have you two guys partner off and just kind of work a little bit. Okay. So one thing we worked on straight punches just before, right? Uh, we did a bunch of grappling drills, right? Safe stand up. How to get ourselves out of a bad position. Okay, now we're gonna work, at, work on some hooks, okay? Now when we throw a hook, the biggest thing is that our elbow is up and we're parallel to the ground. Some people like to teach the hand parallel to the floor. Some people say, turn your wrist. This does not feel comfortable to me, so I can't say that this is the answer. But the biggest thing is that your two big knuckles always connect to the target, right? These first two knuckles, they always say, are these the knuckles that are gonna hurt you? If I punch you with this part of a hand, these two knuckles are gonna hurt me. Right, so we always want to first thing make contact here. Whether you're here or here, it's up to you. This is not comfortable for me, but a lot of people teach it. The next thing in the hook is we need to make sure that, think about your arm being like a truck, a semi-truck, right? Here's that front part of the truck, right? Here's the trailer, right? Make sure the trailer is behind the truck. If you want massive force and impact, the trailer is always behind the truck. This lines up. Right, notice my arm is parallel to the ground, right? My bones all stack, okay, through. I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not here. Everything's flat even, this, okay? So all we're gonna look to do is we're gonna do this side to side, right, to get the rotational motion. So we start off in this position. All I want you guys to do, and we will never do this outside of this drill, raise your elbows up. Your fists should almost face one another, okay? Right, and you should have this little bit of channel right in front of you, this space. All we're gonna look to, where that space is, that's your target. All I want you guys to do is stay in one place. You can pivot your hips, you can pivot your feet. Turn, turn. So my arms don't extend, they don't extend. My head stays forward. Notice my head stays forward, right? I, my head is on a swivel. Right, my arms transition underneath. My feet don't move, right? I don't set my feet. I can pivot them, 
I'm not moving my feet, right? Don't move, don't move your feet. Keep your feet where they are. They can pivot, and this is where it gets hard, right? Pivot, pivot, twist, twist, twist. Good, we'll pause right there. We're gonna do this for time. So I'm gonna skip this, some of don't. So rest a second. Rest a second, because we're gonna do this for time. Okay, so again, I have this channel right in front of my face. I'm not gonna step my feet. I'm not gonna extend my arms from this position. I just raise my elbows. My fists essentially face one another and I have this channel in front of me. I'm gonna keep my head focused in that direction. My head will not move, right? My body will just pivot. My feet don't change positions, meaning they don't move off the spot on the ground. You can mark my feet with an X, they don't come off that X. Twist, twist, right? I'm getting rotation right through my torso. That's what we're working on. It's your hips and shoulders to move together. This is the important part here. This is how we're going to generate more force in hooks and rotational movement, right? Overhands, uppercuts, right? If they're on an angle, hooks, right? Body shots. It's all this twist motion. So that's all we're going to look to do. We're going to do this for a minute. So again, my feet don't move. My elbows come up, right? And we're going to keep our head forward and we're going to twist. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Yeah. Good. Let your feet move. Feel that twisting motion. Let your whole body go, but don't come off. Pretend you're standing. Much better. You were standing on X's, right? X marks, marks the spot. Your feet don't come off. Those X's hands are up. Good. And again, this is how we actually generate punching power from our torso, right? From our core, right? Is this rotational movement. Turn, turn. Good, right? You feel that as you throw one side forward, the other side winds up. This is a very important concept to understand when we strike, right? Because as I throw one side out, the other side is wound up and then can fire next. 10 seconds, guys. Keep twisting, keep moving. Good, here we go. Three, two, one, and time. Good. All right. And again, we can start to feel that when I turn one side all the way forward, uh, again, my body kind of winds up on that other side and is ready to explode. Our muscles are a series of rubber bands, right? They have a lot of elasticity in them, right? So as I throw something here, I'm wound up, my weight collects in a way and, in, and organizes over this back leg. My muscles have a lot of tension in them, my fascia is taut, and now I can explode in the other direction. Okay, so what we're gonna look to do now, guys, is just work on that principle of loading and exploding. So, we think, think back to our cross off our dominant side. All we're going to look to do now, throw the hook, right? This side kind of loads up, right? We're going to throw a lead hook, and this is loaded, and a big cross off the back side, right? So it can be a little slow and then fast. If you want to think of it like as far as the tempo, right? So it can be slow, I wind up, fast, right? And kind of blows out, right? One, two. Right, that's what we're looking to do, right? It's creating um, some momentum, right, off to our power side, right? And that's why I like having my dominant side on my back side, right? Again, I think Bruce Lee was an innovator. If you're any type of martial artist, martial arts fan, you know, love, and respect his theory, right? He's one of the first people to cross train in martial arts, right? But he likes to lead with his dominant side. I actually like my dominant side on my back because I can wind up into it and generate more power, right? And it all depends on who you are and how you like to fight. There's no wrong to it, right? Fighting is fighting is fighting is fighting, right? These are all concepts and ideas, right? But all we're gonna do right now is use our lead side, that circular motion, that left hand, right? And hook, we're gonna hook, we're gonna be loaded, and we're gonna explode, right? That's all we're gonna look to do right now. We're gonna do it together 10 times, right? We're gonna throw one, Two, right now, in the beginning, I'm gonna call one, two, and then that one, two will be faster, it'll be one, two will be faster, and then it'll just be go, okay? So it's gonna be one, two, and then we're gonna repeat that process, okay? Here we go, let's get in a good position. We're gonna start with our hook, ready? And one, and two. Good, big explosion, again, reset. One, load to the back side, two. Right, big, big cow off that white leg, for most of us. Here we go. One and two. Big punch. Good. Again. All right. Two more on my count and we'll put it together. Here we go. One. Big punch in front and two. Big count off that backside. Yeah. Feel that weight, right? For those of us that still aren't feeling it, 
collect your weight into that back side, right? I want your weight on this foot. It's a coiled spring, right? I throw off that hook. It's a coiled spring. I explode it. Here we go. We're putting it together. Now it's going to say go. Coil, load, and explode. Ready, set, and go. Whoa. 